have stickers. Yeah, boy. Hi right, guys, welcome back to Alternative Invert. Uh, so today uh, we're going to be looking at our Burmese Python, Betty. Uh, we're going to get her out, we're going to give her a bath, uh, we're going to spot clean a bit, uh, and we may also get some footage of our good friend Phoebe here as well. Give her some love and affection. Yeah, give her some love and affection. Yeah. Give her some love and affection. Yeah. Right then, let's crack straight on and go and take a look at Betty. So here she is guys, here's Betty. She doesn't really strike, but she does uh, hiss a lot, so you'll hear that when we get her out. I do always normally just get her out with a hook at first, uh, just so, well, give her a stroke with a hook, just so she knows it's not feeding time, which is normally perfectly fine, and we'll get her uh, out, just give you a show of her, um, and then we will get her in the bath and get her nice and clean. So. Just put the camera down. Okay. So this is Betty. Can you hear her hissing? Beautiful Burmese python. She is noisy, not aggressive. Yeah, beautiful. She was absolutely tiny when we had her. Um, she started to get a bit of size on her now, started to get a little bit longer as well. Um, not actually sure roughly how big she is. I'd probably say, let's have a look. Probably say about four foot. Um, probably say she's about four foot at the moment. Obviously Burmese pythons are like, I think it's like the second, third biggest species uh, snake in the world. So they'll probably get to a range, in captivity they'll probably get a range 17, 16, 17 foot. But they will get chunky. There's a telegraph pole chun chunky. So I can't wait till it's summer, it's a little bit warmer. Uh, we're going to get this little girl a um, pen set up in the garden. So she can, when we're outside washing the bikes, having barbecues. Messing around with a motorbike, she can come outside, get some sunlight in the little pen as well. But she's such a friendly, friendly snake. Um, she'll let you, like, if she's got any shed stuck on her head, uh, on her eyes, she'll let you get it off. Just noisy, like, she's not, she's not harmful at all. Uh, do you want to say hello? Who's that? Who's he? Yeah, she's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful snake. Never struck, uh, never bit, as of yet, anyway. There's always once, you know, they could just be in a bad mood, might piss her off at some point, but she's a beautiful albino. Albino Burmese python, like, look at the, the colour of those eyes. Absolutely amazing. You're a beautiful girl. And it's important that obviously you do handle your snakes as well. Um, so it's important that you get used to them. Obviously having a big girl like this, when she does reach, you know, 15, 16, 17 <laughs> foot, and she's bloody heavy, um, you know, I'm probably not gonna be able to handle her myself. I'm gonna need some assistance with it as well from Rach, especially when we're getting her outside in the summer. Um, so it's important that she is friendly and that you can sort of trust her as well uh, around other people. But you're beautiful. You're beautiful, ain't you? Yeah. And when I got her, it was uh, a case of either this or a retic. We was looking at a few reticulated pythons, um, some different morphs, uh, but there was just way more expensive and I seen this girl in the shop and I was like that's the one like she is beautiful love albino uh, Burmese Parkins ah! such good temperaments again it's important that you don't have a snake this big unless you're going to be able to look after her when she's bigger you need to you know a lot of people sort of get them keep them and then give them away because they don't understand actually how big they're going to grow um, you know a 16 foot snake in your A season you know manageable for everybody so it's a big commitment um, and they do grow really really quick as well you're going to have a custom vivate side ain't you 
with a hot tub and the bar. Yeah. A no nice seven foot enclosure. Yeah, maybe bigger. Height and width. Yeah. Out. <laughs> Out. Whee! Who's there? Tilled up like a little pretzel, eh? Yeah? <laughs> oh, you cheeky bugger, come on. Back in two ticks. Okay, so. Betty, she's had a nice bathe, had a nice uh, clear poo and wee in the bath. Cheers, Betty. Uh, we've changed the water, obviously, let her sink for a little while. Uh, she's relaxed. We've just spot cleaned all of Viv, took out any bits of poo. We've misted it all down, added a bit of fresh soil as well. Uh, gave her a little bit of decoration. Um, obviously, as she grows, some of this stuff is gonna have to come out then eventually she'll be moved into a lot bigger enclosure. So I'm gonna be working on uh, making a, a seven foot by seven foot enclosure in the garden where we've got our, well, where we have our hot tub uh, and our bar as well. So it'll have all running electrics and she'll be able to stay nice and warm. Obviously she'll have all the correct heating, lighting and everything set up in there as well. But it'll give her a massive, massive um, enclosure, more than enough space than she'll need. These snakes don't really tend to stretch out and most of the time they are coiled up anyway. But seven foot by seven foot will be massive. That'll be more, way more than enough. And I think this is a six foot by two or, yep, yeah, six foot by, by two by two. High is it again as well? Or is it two and a half or three? I don't know, two, 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 two and a bit. Two and a half foot high as well. So this is more than enough space for at the moment as well. And for quite some time, obviously we'll just take bits of the big decoration out as and when needed. It's not a necessity. I just need to put this lock back on. So I, all my snakes, I do keep locks on them um, just to obviously make sure that they can't slide the glass, get out like my boa did before uh, and knock over any spiders. So my boa before actually killed, uh, knocked off one of my Saba blue enclosures, which I weren't too happy about. Do you want to say goodbye to Betty, actually, before we go? Let's get you in there. So as you can see, a uh, big water dish for her. Uh, basically like a washing up bowl, half full so she can soak. Obviously you don't want to fill it right to the top. As she goes in, water's coming over. Uh, bits of obviously plant. I would like to set up a uh, bioactive enclosure maybe one of those. Get some live plants in there, God knows. But, yeah. Just bits of decoration, hide down the bottom, which she never uses anyway. And she's over there. Nice and clean. Oh, well, she's rubbed her face in the dirt whilst being wet. Cheers, Betty. She is, see what I mean? Look at the size of her. She's coiled up down there, as they do. She's got all of that size, that side, and then all of this as well. That's more than enough room for her at the moment. Heat bulb, make sure you always keep your heat bulbs in a cage so they can burn, the, so they don't burn themselves. Obviously, I'm touching that, keeping my hand on it. That's not hot enough. Has a recent discussion that Amy from Pet Rock Roll uh, it was in recently, don't use heat mats for pythons such as royal pythons, Burmese pythons, uh, your boa constrictors, your bigger bodied snakes. Because of the weight, they're heavy, bo heavy bodied, they will get burnt. Always use a bulb and a cage. It can't burn itself off that. No chance at all, can't burn, burn itself. So, burn itself with heat, see what I did. So, let's get back up top. Is there? Oh, you snooted the camera. Hello, Coco. Say hello to the people. 
Rude. Right, guys, so from me, Kieran. And <laughs> you like that, no, no, yeah? You like that, yeah? Yes, you do. So from me, Kieran, uh, and Phoebe, and all the other animals here in the invert room, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's something different. It's nice to sort of see all of the different animals that we have here. So. If you do want to see more of any of these animals, let me know uh, and we can make sure that we get them in the video for you. What do you reckon, Phoebes? Yeah, it looks like a loser. Who is he? Who is he? Oh, you like know that, don't you? Oh, yeah. Come on. You fucking back. See you again soon. Bye-bye.